welcome back to another episode of Lindsay Time! In today's video, I'll be talking about my ASCP certification. So yes, um, this certification makes you an international medical laboratory scientist so by the way i'm a medical technologist by profession and in order for you to work abroad or especially here in the u.s you need to be able to get your escp certification for you to be qualified to work as a med tech here in the u.s so yeah um there are people who ask me I forgot the name but I'm just gonna put it here she messaged me uh, to give tips on how to pass the ASCP and someone also asked me about uh, the step on how to apply for the ASCP examination so in today's video I'll be sharing to you guys the step-by-step -step on how to apply for your ASCP examination Basically, you can do it by yourself, but some people may generally lito kasi sila with regard of this one. So, I'll be sharing to you guys how will you be able to apply your exam for ASCP. Ayun, sa mga med text dyan, nakatulad ko, this video guys is for you. And later on, I'll be sharing to you on how I reviewed for my ASCP. So, andito yung laptop ko and then I'll be sharing to you guys how to apply for ASCP. Okay, so first, go to www.ascp.org. So, this is their dashboard. And then, click the login button. Since, if you are new, wala ka pang account, you need to create a new account with ASCP. So, just click create new account and then just fill out the first name middle name last name everything that they ask for so there you go and then once you're done with filling out it will direct you to the dashboard and this is your dashboard and then here you go down scroll it down and go to board of certification so once you are on the board of certification, scroll down and then apply for credential. Click that one. And then there you go. Scroll down and then click the apply for examination. So you can just read the guidelines here for new applications and then application process here. So after you click that apply for exam, this will show up to you guys and then just scroll down and click the international certification. So click the MLS because we are medical laboratory scientists and then just click the apply now. So, we will do the route one because we already finished our medical laboratory science degree and we successfully finished our internship program which includes the different sections in the laboratory and then just click apply now. So, once you are done, this will show up and just put your email address so make sure that your email address is active and it's working so you will be able to confirm this one so yeah just type it in this is my email address and don't forget to click the check button and then okay and now it says here that they sent you an email to your email address and then you need to verify it so go to your email and then check it out just click the link and it will show you this one so you have all your contact number there and just click next and then here um 
make sure to choose the international medical laboratory scientist because that's what you are applying for and then of course route one and then choose your country of education of course we'll put there philippines and then when once you're done you can now click on to next and then you can add your institution here so it will show up like this one and just fill it out all the questions that they're asking so for those of you who are already licensed as medical technologists by the prc it will be easier just put on your prc number on the um, field that is requiring you to put your prc number and then for those of you who haven't take the local boards yet i don't know the process i think there's more na kailangan mong ibigay sa kanila from the school kung saan ka nag-aral and I think you need to give their tra your transcript of record like that I'm not sure kasi for me I I'm already a board passer and then yung PRC ko lang ang nilagay ko doon sa um, space na kailangan kong lagyan ng PRC number so yun lang yung required for those who are licensed as medical technologists na Kaya mas madali yung application. But I don't know sa mga hindi, hindi licensed as medtech pa. Or sa mga 4th years na gustong mag-apply for this one. And don't, yung mga hindi pa nakapag local boards. Ayun. Hindi ko alam yung mga additional papers nila. Okay, so yeah. Ito pala yung institution, Philippines, San Fernando, because I'm from sa, I'm from La Union and I studied at Lorma Colleges. So, yun yung place no school ko. And then, ayan, Lorma Colleges. It will show naman. And then, once you're done, just click all those type of degree, Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory. So, year of graduation. And then your PRC number, just put it there. So, once you're done, you can click the save button and then go to next. And then after that, you will go to your contact information. Just put your primary and secondary. Yeah, your alternative number nyo. So So yeah, just um, put in your contact information like that. And then once you're done, just click next. And and then ito, magpapakita lang na if you agree ba sa mga napag-usapan. So just click the check button. And then there you go. It will show the payment button na. And the examination costs $200. You can pay through check or your debit or credit card. So there you go. Um, after that, it will show now the total amount that you will pay. It costs $200 or like around 10,000 pesos. You can pay through check or through debit or credit card. And if you are not yet ready or unsure to take the exam, you can always save it and continue later and pay later. Because once you pay this $200, your 90 days, yeah. So your 90 days will start counting na once you get your confirmation. Because once na nakapag-pay ka na, meron ka lang 90 days to take the exam. Or else, kung hindi mo na hindi ka nakapag-exam within those days, um, like 3 months, 
sabi na nating 3 months, yung 90 days. So, mawawala yung application mo, sayang yung pera na pinambayad mo. So, make sure that you are ready once you paid. Ayan. So, there you go. That's the process for the application for ASCP. It's very simple and kaya-kaya yung gawin yan. And then, if you are not ready, as I've said, you can always save and just go back later on. And as long as, always remember your account, syempre. Don't forget that one. So, how did I review for ASCP? So actually, guys, I went to a review center. When I took my ASCP, I went to Axe Review Center for two weeks. So, that's the intensive review. Like, sa two weeks na yun, straight na review lang siya. So fast. And then, after my review, I already took immediately yung exam. So, I had my review last year, 2018 of March. But before I went to the review center, I'm already uh, reviewing by my own sa bahay. Just reading, just writing the recall questions because I have some of my friends who already take the exam and they give me some recall questions and yung advice niya sa akin is to read the recall questions or if possible, I could make a um, card. Like, yung mga index card na ganyan and then just read it every day para mag maging masanay ka sa or maging familiar ka sa mga questions like that. Yun yung sinabi niya. Shout out to you, Nira. Thank you so much for this tip. Very helpful talaga siya. So, what I did was, I followed her um, tip. So, gumawa ako ng mga cards kung ganyan. So, the questions in front and then the answer at the back. So, that's what I read every day. And then also, I'm reading the one on the the papers as well because I borrowed some from my friends na nag-take na din ng ESCP. So, ayan. Yun lang yung ginagawa ko everyday pero hindi naman as in aral na aral kasi nakakatamad din talaga as in super nakakatamad ng mag-aral after mo na ng like after you study nakapasa ka na ng local boards and parang tapos na lahat ng mga exam but still you need to study for this one kasi nga before Alam ko na, and I plan that I will go here because I'm already processing my visa that time. So I really need to pass this for me to be able to work as a medical technologist here sa US. Pag nakarating ako, sabi ko. Kaya kailangan ko talagang ipasa to. So that's just how I reviewed for like, I started reviewing January. But hindi siya yung tuloy-tuloy. January na ako nakakapagbasa-basa lang. Pero just the questions lang talagang mga binasa ko. Wala akong binasa lang iba but the questions. <laughs> and then no February, ganun din. Paminsan-minsan lang. Kasi... Hindi ko talaga mai-focus yung sarili ko na magbasa lang sa bahay. Kaya ako nag-review center ng Axe. And it's very nice because they have that two weeks na offer. Just intensive review na two weeks straight. So it's my first time also to go to Manila and um, live by my own. And that's the first time talaga. Kasi ng local boards naman, I'm with my friends and we had an apartment. But this time, I'm on a dormitory and mag-isa ko lang doon in sa Manila pa yun. So, probinsya na, hindi ako sanay. So, yeah, it's very um, different experience para sa akin. But I made it. When I was there, dun sa review center, meron naman silang binibigay na notes. And that's what I do now. Since I'm already done with the recall questions and every after the discussion, yung diniscuss, binabasa ko na lang. Pero dun lang sa notes. I didn't read on any books. So, dun lang ako sa notes. Pero hindi ko, hindi ko I don't know. It's so risky. So, kung takot kayo, magbasa pa rin kayo ng books nyo. So, yun lang ginawa ko. Nagbabasa lang ako ng every topic na dinidiscuss nila. And, ayun. That's my routine every day. And then, I also take mga computer-based exam kasi meron din sila doon. So, pag may off ako, may one day kasi na off sa so one week na yun, may isang araw na off, they will give you a time to do the computer-based exam. So, ayan. And then, makikita mo din yung scores mo doon. So, parang maganda siyang um, test. So, by the way, if you don't want to go to the review center naman, you can always do a self-study as long as masipag kayo, ganyan. Kaya-kaya niyan. And also, what I did before, 
is up dun sa lab ce if you are familiar with that one so yung lab ce is a computer based exam din siya and then per question um katumbas ng mga 5 points or 3 or something. Basta may katumba siyang points. And yeah, kasi sa ASCP examination, the passing score is 400. There are 100 items, but each question ay may katumbas na points. For example, question number 1 is 4 points. So, kailangan mong makakuha yun para makuha mo yung 4 points, ba? So, I don't know kung paano yung point system nila, but yeah. 100 questions but the passing score is 400 points. So it depends siguro pag mahirap mas mataas yung points na equivalent. <laughs> so ayun. Now na nasabi ko na yung mga tips kung paano ako nag-review ano ba ang mga lumabas sa mga exam. So when I was taking the exam I'm so surprised kasi yung mga questions na nandun ay yung mga questions na recall questions na na-review ko. So, I'm very lucky kasi alam ko na yung mga questions and also the answers. Kaya very confident ako sumasagot noon. And I'm so happy and I'm blessed kasi yun yung lumabas. But I'm not saying that lagi na lang na recall questions yung lumalabas. Kasi, you know, it's a bank of questions. It depends kung ano yung mapupunta sa inyo. Malay mo, hindi mo na-review or hindi nabigay na recall questions yun or bago yun. So, yeah, it's still better to review. So, yung mga about doon, mostly, ang nahirapan ako is about sa BB. As in, yung panel, guys. <laughs> Magpapakita sila ng panel tapos sasabihin mo kung ano ang bit mali doon, something. Basta, it's mostly um situational. And then, ikaw yung magbibigay ng solution. Something ganon. I'll try to look my recall question. Wala kasi sa akin yung mga reviewers ko because I already gave it to my friends. Shout out to you, Sai and Tonya. Kailan kayo magtitake. Shout out. So, ayan. Wala, na sa, wala, wala akong dalang question sa akin. But I'll try to look on my email. Tapos, kung if you're interested, you can just message me and I can share to you some. So, ayun. Yun lang naman. Basta mag-aral lang kayo mabuti. Siguro pag kakatapos nyo lang mag-take ng exam for local boards, baka kaya nyo rin yan. Kasi mostly wala naman na siyang mga manual methods, especially sa chemistry, wala na yun. Um, may mga questions din na naulit. Bibigyan ka nila ng calculator sa reviews ay sa exam mismo. Meron ka din sheets for the panel na ibibigay sa'yo. Ayun. Kailangan nyo talaga reviewin yung panel kasi lumalabas talaga yun. And sa CC, ano pa yung mga, ano do? Mga Cushing syndrome, Cushing disease, mga ganun. Basta yun guys, I'll share to you my recall questions. Just DM me. And sana mabasa nyo yun. So for those of you who are planning to take the exam, good luck to you guys. And I hope na makapasa din kayo. And yeah guys, that is it for the video. Thank you again for watching and if you like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be part of the hashtag FamLindsay. See you in my next vlog. Bye!